This midday, undocumented immigrants flown in from Texas are being processed across San Diego County. Now, since the first of the planes carrying more than 100 immigrants arrived in San Diego yesterday, we've been on top of the controversy that has escalated over their arrival. Sure has. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins live at the border station in Otay Mesa. And these latest developments seem to be frustrating for the Border Patrol that's in charge of ruling everything. Bill, a union official tells me 10 people are in the hospital and get this. 40 people are in quarantine, so they say it's threatening everything from the agent's health to national security. This chartered plane flew into Lindbergh Field with 140 women and children. Also on board, an infestation of head lice and a scabies outbreak. It's what landed 40 undocumented immigrants, mostly kids, in quarantine at the border station in San Ysidro, according to Border Patrol Union official Ron Zermeno. Like any other person, we I have compassion for them. I understand it. Overnight, a bus pulled out, and the two Border Patrol agents behind the driver were wearing masks, which we've learned they're being advised to do. That's my biggest fear is, one, the, their health, but also their safety in the field. He says they were already understaffed, so polling agents from the border is putting their safety at risk and could put national security on the line. The morale is the lowest I've ever seen it. But how much pushback is too much? Well, I'm already thinking they're probably looking at insubordination with me because I'm exposing the truth. And that's what a lot of the agents are giving me the information because they want the public to know the truth. He says it's about protecting his agents and the border and exposing the truth because exposure seems to be a growing concern. I think the public needs to be aware because a lot of the average citizen is not aware of what's going on. And I think they need to be aware because they can, they can be exposed tomorrow. And he says it's worth putting his job on the line so people will know and so that people can open up a conversation with public officials. We're live in Otay Mesa, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Thank you, Hannah. Meanwhile, demonstrations continue in Murrieta as both sides of the immigrant transfer issue make their feelings clear. We continue our team coverage with 10 News reporter Marie Cornell near that Border Patrol facility. Well, all morning long, we have seen a few protesters stop by. Uh, you can see behind me the TV station trucks are still lined up right in front of the entrance of uh, this Border Patrol facility. Those who have come by, they are voicing their opinions about whether or not those buses should be allowed here in Marietta. <laughs> Ten news cameras rolled as protesters got emotional, determined to stand their ground. Any person's in need, no matter the color or their nationality or ethnicity, um, they should be allowed to be safe. Neither side wanting to back down. It's not about the race, and it's not about uh, Mexicans, Asians, anything like that who's coming over here. It's doing it the process correctly. But as the sun came out, that number dwindled leaving only a handful who want to keep undocumented immigrants away from Marietta. One of those is Burke Hinman. He tells 10 News he plans on showing up every day to send a message. If the buses get through, the buses get through. Not against immigration, but I am for it being done appropriately and legally. And we're told there will be a uh, town hall meeting scheduled for 6 p.m. at the Murrieta Mesa High School where city officials and a representative from the Border Patrol will be there to answer questions and listen to the concerns from the public. 10 News will be there and we'll have that for you in later newscasts. From Murrieta, Marie Coronel, 10 News. 10 News, of course, will monitor today's developments. We'll have updates for you on our mobile app, which is free in the App Store. Well, in the last 30 minutes, one of the most outspoken advocates for the immigrants, Enrique Moronis of the Border Angels, spoke to 10 News. Reporter Allison Ash is live at the Border Angels headquarters in Sherman Heights with Moronis' outrage over what's going on. Allison. Yeah, and in fact, you can see behind me, there's a news conference that's going on right now, and there is a big crowd here, a lot of media, also a lot of humanitarian groups. I want to show you some video of what is going on behind all this, this blockade of people. Uh, Enrique Morones, who's hosting this, uh, he's with Border Angels. He's surrounded by children. They are all saying children should not be turned away from our borders. They're taking up a collection uh, to take care of this surge of undocumented 
immigrants. Now, as I said, this was hosted by Border Angels Executive Director Enrique Morones witnessed the busload of immigrants yesterday as it was swarmed by protesters in Murrieta. Here is what he had to say about that. We saw the worst of the American spirit. How is it possible that these children that simply want to live, these are refugees, these are migrants that are escaping a very violent situation in Central America. They simply want to live. And that's how they're greeted. That's how they're greeted with pounding on the buses, blocking the, the three buses that were coming into Murrieta. And I place a lot of that blame on the Murrieta Police Department. They need to be investigated.